Right where he is left off. He's a very patient hitter. Down and under the hands. And the breaking ball misses low and away, so leadoff man on. It's one thing to throw it, but you better get it out of the zone. Three straight breaking balls. And Rivera touches the first and bounces it the opposite way. Langford will head to third. The throw from Petri skips in. The celebration rules and the prop rules. There's ball four, and Ryapel reaches. Then a walk-off win in game two, and they won game three to take the series. Into right field. Ethan Petri ran out under his hat. Tagging from third is Lankford. The throw is cut off. And Florida's taking a 1-0 lead on a Luke Heyman sack fly. It, it can be a launching pad with the weather in the 80s like it is tonight. Strike out of Curlin. Two huge Ks, but Florida pushes one across. But this was, when it was built, it was certainly right there with Alec Box Stadium as kind of one and two in the league. This guy, oh. Petrie, puts a charge and it is. First pitch swinging and into the trees. <laughs> Home run number 19 for the freshman. Wow. He makes it look easy, doesn't he? Are you kidding me? Just do it, Petri. A hanging cutter sitting right down Broadway, and you can go into your slow roll right there, my friend. BT Ryapel, one of them, the guy across from him. Ooh. Spro gets some swinging, but Ethan Petri with number 19. No, his offense has more depth as well. Mm. Swing and a miss, back to back Hayes now, and the third for Sanders showing some emotion. Game two of that series. And this one's chopped to short, oh, and Wimmer can't glove it. Pulled his eyes off of it on the short hop. Langford drew his 36th walk of the season. Runner goes, and his first time up, and the throw to second is late. And Hal uh, sorts out at the end of the season. Wimmer handles this one. Well, three-quarter, and that throw was wide, and now Casas is hurt. Runner coming around to score. Robertson scores all the way from second. And that, that's 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 like trying to tackle an SEC running back with no equipment right there. And you know, give give credit to Robertson who really never stopped. But that's it's a gutsy play from Casas. And he gets him with another one. And the West End last weekend just one for 11 against his former team, but a leadoff walk here in the second. But that's what the Gamecocks have done some this year. And he pushes this one to the gap in right center. It'll get down and get up against the fence. Casas into third. And he'll throw on the brakes. And SEC ace. Up the middle, right to Rivera. And that'll get a run across on an RBI ground out from Carson Horner. Off the knuckles and a little roller that Caglione can handle. Goes with anything other than it right here. Indeed, but that one took <laughs> something off at 95. <laughs> Which isn't the worst thing when you're, what, 38, 39? But good, sir. <laughs> Rivera dispatched with a breaking ball. And he's punched out. And a little kick to it from Gaucher. Six Ks now for Sanders. That's even with Tennessee tumbling. 18 spots after a midweek loss. That's the second strikeout for Sprout. Fresh national freshman of the year in Kevin Howard. Did, did, did he show you some more glimpses? Than we're 325 ERA. Yeah. The top strikeout to walk. Things can change when some stars show up. To the right side, chance for two. Winner gets it over there in time. Brandon Neely, who's got seven saves in the season, in the eighth inning yelled, come on, let's go. He got tossed by the home plate umpire. That carried with it an automatic four-game suspension. So he is not available at all this series. And Cole Messina with a single to left field to start the fourth inning. Gavin Casas walked and scored his first time up. He goes down swinging here. And, and we realize humans are, are navigating all this and they're going to make mistakes. but. That's why you have review process. To, to other teams as opposed to guys celebrating with their teammates. Here's ball four, and the bases are loaded for Carolina. 
He is 0 for 1 in this game. Huge opportunity, but once again, the bottom of the mm. order. And this one's lifted into center. Messina looking to tag. Catch made by Robertson. And Messina will score to give South Carolina its first lead of the game. Right, Tommy. I mean, you're talking about basically the whole pitching staff is back. Foul territory and nice run and grab made by Halter. I said I've been sitting on this for a couple of days, just wondering when, when this actually popped into your head. And he said, rounding third. And everybody knows that, but you better execute. Oh, locked him up. And there's that K strut. It is his eighth strike out of the night. Went 20 and 10. There's still going to be a top eight seed slam dunk. Nobody's catching them, I don't think, if they get the 22 wins. Back-to-back -back K's for Sproat. This league has to offer. Boom, wow. Brandon Sproat with a bounce back inning. And every time we went in to visit with Shane and the coaching staff, it was, we're learning, we're learning, he's learning, he's never done this, he's going to get it. Another K that is strikeout number nine for Sanders. B Beamer's calling card is over the top positivity. That's right. Curlin reaches on a shot down the line. He gets all the way into the corner. Brewer to dig it out. And Kate Curlin ends up at second base. And that one's down the line. Curlin will round third and head home. And Colby Halter goes into second. Back-to-back -back doubles for the Gators. Well, give him another one. How about the hustle for Curlin, or pardon me, for Halter to get all the way to third? I think they should be. Those are off-off. Back to the breaking ball to strike out Evans, a 10th K of the game for Sanders. Florida, they're knocking a couple of them out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not just another bat short, but that's a fair ball and off the glove of Halter. He insists it was foul. Braswell will stand up at second base with a two-out double. Could be what decides this series. Braswell at second base, and that one's off the glove of Ryapel, who's got 11 pass balls in the season now. 3-1 to Carson Horning. And that's ball four. Braswell the runner, third. Horning is at first. And there's ball four, and the bases are loaded. Bases loaded, two down in the sixth tie game. Upstairs for ball four, and Tippett gets just his fourth career RBI to give South Carolina the lead against the third-ranked team in the country. Brewer sitting at six home runs, and he takes it inside again, and Florida has walked in back-to-back -back runs. Ball four again. And not only does that force in another run, but it brings up Ethan Petri. It's been all heater, so if you see that, you can gear up. And he sends it into center field. That'll get down for a hit. One run is scored. Here comes Brewer. And it's a two-run single off the bat of Ethan Petri in South Carolina. Has wrapped its hands around this game. It's an 8-3 lead in the sixth. He sends it into the dirt. Rivera charges and on the run gets the third out of the inning. That was over at first base. 2-2 pitch. Well struck to the left center. Brewer scoops it up. It's a one-out single. It's just impossible to get in on him. Caglione puts one in play for the first time. And it turn into a 6 4 3 double play. Second double play of the night for this Carolina defense. Full count to Casas. I feel like Berkey, we're in the seventh inning. It's a five run lead, but. Well hit, deep right field. Back is Evans. It's gone off the fence. Evans will pick it up as it rolls back towards the infield. And here comes Casas. And he rumbles home, bad rib and all. Third double of the game for Michael Braswell. Category, no doubt. Oh, oh. Evan Stone plunked. There's that bunt you've been looking for. And it's thrown away! Carolina's gonna get Braswell home. Stone behind him. He's gonna try and score. 
and the throw came trickling in. He tumbles over for another Gamecock run. 2-2 pitch. Ooh. Hot shot over third. No play made by Halter. Just couldn't find his feet. Messina trying to go heads Carolina. And he sends it deep to center field. Back Robertson off the base of the fence. Two runs have scored. Here comes Petri. And it's a walk-off winner for South Carolina in the seventh. What a way to start the series. A run rule victory.